This year, two of our students, now alum, from the Fierstein class of 2020, were winners of this year's National Board of Review student grant, which provides exposure and funding for student films. Everyone, let me introduce you to our esteemed guest, Mandy Marcus and Amanda Lynn Kim. So I think we can go ahead and get started with our Q&A. For me, it was uh, trying to come up with a thesis concept. I was coming up with all these like fantastical ideas and then realized that like, there's so many stories right around us. And often those stories, um, often there are people like you love and care about and you're the closest with, but you actually don't know them on a deeper level. So I took this as an opportunity to explore that with my own family. I wanted to do something about my family. Um, so my PW4 and, and my previous films were like more genre stuff at Fierstein, but I knew that I want to do like a very personal story for thesis. So it's actually based on both my experience as being American first generation um, with like a very large immigrant family from Guyana, um, as well as my cousin's experiences of, um, I have a lot of younger cousins who moved here when they were preteens um, from Guyana and kind of grew up in New York and New Jersey. So it was a combination of their stories and my stories. One of the cool things about Fierstein is that it's a public university. So the types of people in the directing cohort were all people who had jobs before, who were working um, before, were coming from middle class or working class backgrounds. And to me, our conversations um, about our films in class were just like real, always really interesting and um, substantial. And that was something I was looking for when I was deciding what graduate school to go to, like for a cohort of very grounded people who have like similar concerns as I do. Um, and I think that helped me grow as a filmmaker for sure, having that kind of, uh, having that kind of conversation happening as I, as I was like kind of growing into my style and the subjects that I was interested in pursuing. Yeah, I concur with that. And also I was, in the first uh, cohort for Dave. So we got to kind of tailor our program a little bit and ask to learn certain programs a bit more. So if we were looking for like a little bit more Cinema 4D, we were able to put that information out there to try to find a professor to teach that. So we were able to kind of mold it a little bit different, which is great because um, I don't think many schools would take that kind of feedback and help create the program for what the cohort wants. Um, and additionally, I think one of the things that was also super helpful for me um, and how I saw things was when we did the first thesis screening and it was Dave, but it was also with all the live action track because I got to see everyone else's work and how they thought and it opened my perspective. And it was like particularly Mandy's film that I was like really impressed with and it made me think a little bit differently and I appreciated that. I would just say that I met some of the most talented people I know, and there a lot of them are on this call. And I'm super grateful to have them as friends and collaborators. Um, one thing I would say to, um, to fellow students um, is just to try to maybe take a class that's not in your cohort. Because when I reached out and I stepped outside of our like Dave bubble, um, I met so many more people and they're just opened a lot of doors and different ways of thinking and everything like that, so. Yeah, I think it's a similar thing for me. Like what I got out of Fierstein was really um, the people and my cohort um, just, I knew really nothing about the short film world uh, before starting Fierstein and have learned the majority of what I know about it now from um, folks in my cohort. Um, and I think it's also been super useful to have these close relationships after graduating as well, as we're all kind of doing that sort of hustle of t like having these networking calls with different people to learn about the industry and learn about like what moves we can make next. I've, I've been sharing that information with 
with my cohort and they've been sharing it with me and it's been just like, you know, like the, the learning continues afterwards. Um, so that's my advice to any students at Thirsty Now is just to build those relationships and, and make sure that like from day one, you're really kind to people and you really try to connect to them because those are the people who are gonna kind of rise with you um, as you continue your journey after school. Uh, stay tuned to our, our social media. Check us out at Fierstein School on all social media uh, for more events coming up soon. Um, hopefully more dialogue with our alumni and our wonderful students that we'd like to spotlight. We'll do this again, okay?